Well, I'm United States Senator Saxby Chambliss, and welcome to my weekly YouTube video. This week I want to talk for a minute about the fact that uh, we are now back in session for the first week following our August recess, and I had the privilege of traveling to all corners of Georgia during August and visiting with constituents about issues that are important to you. And needless to say, I, I heard an awful lot from folks about what's going on in Washington. People are rightfully upset about the level of debt that uh, our country now is faced with. We have a $13 trillion debt, and with the president's budget uh, that's proposed over the next 10 years, that will be doubled. And this is scaring a lot of individuals about the fact that we've got to get our arms around this, otherwise we're going to leave an America to our children and our grandchildren that is not quite as good in America as what our parents left us. And that would be the first time in the history of our country that that happened. I don't want to be a part of that. I want to make sure that we work hard to get this spending under control. The largest deficit that the Bush administration ever had was just in excess of $400 billion. Last year, in the first year of the Obama administration, that annual deficit was in excess of $1.3 trillion. This year, it's projected to be even higher than that. We cannot sustain that level of spending in Washington, and that's why these elections in November are so critically important. As we uh, approach the end of the year, there's another issue that's very important to Georgians that I heard about, again, from one end of the state to the other. And that's the proposal to not extend the 2001 tax package and to let it expire. If it does expire, and right now we're headed in that direction, then every single taxpaying American will see a huge increase in the amount of taxes that you have to send to Washington. I think you can do a better job of spending your money than the bureaucrats here in Washington will do. That's why I'm very supportive of an extension of that tax package, and I hope we don't do it for one year. I hope we do it for at least five years. And the reason that I think we ought to extend it beyond one year is that there's an awful lot of companies around America that are sitting on an awful lot of cash. They're not willing to invest that cash in their business, if, which if they did, would grow their business and provide additional jobs as well as bring those people back to work who've been laid off. And they're not going to do that because as long as that uncertainty exists about the direction in which this country is going to go from a tax standpoint, it does not behoove them to, to put that money where it will do the most good. We heard an awful lot about the health care program. We heard an awful lot about national security. But at the end of the day, the number one issue on the minds of almost every single Georgian is the economy and the jobs that people have lost in our state. We have an unemployment rate that's higher than the national average. We need to make sure that we are focused as federal policymakers on putting provisions and measures in place that will incentivize the business community to grow, not incentivize them to sit on their hands because if they grow, then they will increase jobs as well as bring those people back to work who've been laid off. Let's hope that over the next several weeks and months as we head towards the election and following the election, that the right message is sent to policymakers here in Washington. I get it. Senator Isaacson gets it. But we need to make sure that a majority of members in the Senate and in the House understand that jobs is number one and that we need to do the things that are necessary to expand this great country that we live in from a job standpoint. Thank you very much. We look forward to visiting with you next week.